Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. We are on this cold day touring the Darlington behind me. This is a fabulous house type by Davidson's Homes. I have really enjoyed touring this guys, but let's get straight to the specs, right? So this house is a four bedroom, two bathroom property. Plus there's a downstairs WC as well and a garage at the back and also the approximate size of it is 1462 square feet but if you're looking for pricing specific pricing information it fluctuates and it depends on the specific area so you your best bet would be to click on the description which would take you straight to the developer's website where you can get the up-to-date pricing that for what you're looking at right now and then if you're interested to see more of it stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together so let's begin the tour. Come on in, it's freezing outside. So come straight into your new build house. Great, so first impressions, obviously, we're in the hallway. I love this door. So each development has a different style, a different palette. So that's why I point these details out. In this development, you're getting the beautiful polished brass. Mind you, all the other eye mongery and hardware in the house is actually polished chrome or that kind of silvery cup color. But it's nice to do a little twist. You've got your little um, peephole there, kind of, which is really great for security. And then again, the door as well. It's a nice width, great for bringing in furniture. And I'm gonna show you something. So remember this point later on in the tour and stay tuned. There's something amazing happening in this hallway, which I'm gonna show you. The first room that we're gonna go into off this hallway is this front formal lounge. As you can see, rectangular shape, and that means laying out furniture is just such an easy thing to do. We put an L-shaped sofa, super nice and cozy. How many people do you think could fit on that? Maybe six, seven? Really lovely size. Focal point is here with the TV and I love this display unit which they've shown which doesn't come with your standard house type. Gives you an idea of what you can do and create. I'm stand, standing at the back of the, the room now just to show you the proportions. There's a radiator over here by the sofa which keeps it nice and cozy. But then you've got an area for a coffee table there, another lamp, your media units over there. Again, you can decide wherever you wanna put it, where your TV's actually gonna go. And then you've got large windows over there with one, two, three, four opening lights. So great for ventilation because guys, not all windows open, some are just for light, but it's really, really wide, which lets in lots of light. Love these curtains, by the way. Anyway, <laughs> back to the decor. I mean, back to the actual architecture. You've got a window and I love this, little features like this. Instead of having a plain wall, we have an opportunity to see who is at the front door whilst you're in the living room. What if it's a pesky door-to-door door, door door salesman or woman? You know, you wanna know these things to see whether you wanna get up when you're in the middle of watching Netflix. <laughs> So let's go on back in the hallway just realized that I forgot to mention the flooring the flooring in this case is a luxury vinyl tile in this show home but you can choose whatever you want it's usually an upgrade but I love the fact that it continues all the way around the ground floor the room immediately opposite nice cozy size which is code for it's smaller than the other room um, this is a nice study um, they've done it in like a homework area, a work from home area, and it's staged with these beautiful shelves. I love the decor and everything, but let's look at what size we have. What can we fit in here? This could be a spare room if you have guests overstaying, a little cinema snug, or like they've done a study or, an, or a home office. It's got a large window with four opening lights, one, two, three, four. So lots of fresh air can come into this room during the summer months where we normally have a heat wave in the UK and then radiator. Very practical, good size and nice position. You've got your staircase going up to the top. We'll see that in a second. I like this little, <laughs> this little cubby hole over here. You can obviously put it with, sh um, you can have your shoes stored under there on a shoe rack or a little doggy, <laughs> doggy basket there. So let's look what's in here. 
in here is our downstairs bathroom so same flooring which makes the room feel connected with the rest of the house we've got half height tiling and a two-piece suite we've got a sink over there and a toilet over there beautiful nice proportion easy to get into off the main hallway and ticks all the boxes let's close that off and then you're probably wondering what's in here i can tell you straight away because it's under the stair it's actually at your kind of clerk room storeroom and that's where your bt and all the other gadgety things can go in there vacuum cleaner prams all that stuff it's right off the hallway so it's so convenient but let's let's that's all great <laughs> but let's let's actually focus on what we're here to see which is the main entertainment space welcome to your open plan kitchen as you can see dining and then living area i absolutely love this and i'm just wondering where we should start where should we start over there okay let's start over here what are we actually looking at right now we are in a space that's been staged and I always say that staged as a living. So if you feel like you would like this to be a humongous dining experience, you can do that. But as a living room, they've got a, an armchair here, a love seat actually. It's a three seater guys. So a love seat, great. And then they've got the TV on this wall. You could probably put another sofa there or an armchair like they've done. Wall to wall cabinetry which again is completely up to you what you want to do. You don't have to have the TV over here if you don't want it. But I like the way it's been staged because it cradles these double doors that look into your garden. And guys, I'm so excited. We're going to show you a full garden tour later on in the video. So stay tuned because we are so happy to have access there because we don't always have access on these show home sites. So again radiator behind the sofa you can see the space to increase the size of the sofa it could be an l-shaped sofa which would create all the space but they've gone with like a, a display unit there let me just close this door a little bit again i used to mention that i would love a glass door in that space so we could connect the hallway to the main room but again that's something to discuss with the developer You've got your kitchen area here, but before we go into the kitchen, let's talk about this feature. So not only do we have what looks to me to be like a six seater table, which you can make bigger because there's still room. You also have this really, really modern, and I love this. It's like a glass box extension, but instead of you having to add it on, it comes with the house type. So you've got glass facing that side, the back, and the left creating like a 180 view of your garden which is great for sunlight when it rises from the east obviously sets in the west and then you've got these parts which are actually windows and i love that because it's great having amazing doors but you always have to open the doors even for a little bit of fresh air not in this case because you've got windows either side and then large double doors in the middle you open it up to your garden, which like I said, we will tour. You've got these really super fashionable floor to ceiling um, curtains as well. And then we've got the kitchen area. So let's talk about the kitchen. You've got your breakfast bar over here. It looks like it's a three slash four seater because there's space, ample space between each stool. You've got the over sailing edge, which is great. One and a half bowl stainless steel sink with storage underneath this island as well. Actually, it's not fully an island because I did read whenever it connects to the wall, it is a peninsula. So Google that and let me know if that's correct. So yeah, it's a, almost like a fully uh, detached kitchen island. But from this area, you've got your USB sockets. These are normally upgrades, but it's worth checking if this development has these a standard and it has the new USB um charging points type c as brian mentioned uh in there that's really good for us android users <laughs> um so yep we've got the sink there we've got storage underneath sorry you can't see them just yet but you can take my word for it dishwasher by zanussi great brand again when you visit the show home at davidson's homes they always are completely transparent the extras are listed there the flooring is an extra as you, you would expect because it's customizable so they can't include 
that in the standard cost. The light fittings like these amazing uh, pendant lights, fitted furniture like the bookcases, upgraded units and curtains are extras. But everything else is included. Cool. So let's start going this way from the kitchen. So our amazing box extension. We've got the fridge in a 70-30 arrangement, fridge freezer. You've got your integrated AEG double ovens. I love that. The storage underneath with a J pull handle. I love that. On soft closers, high gloss white, super modern, super clean. Again, you can choose what color you have. If you have a phobia of white, don't worry. It's up to your personal taste. Extract fan. You've got a back painted glass splash back here and then you've got upstands in a laminate and then this is laminate as well in a textured white finish looks really high quality gas hobs as well and then you've got storage underneath and woo, this is gorgeous i love this and then you've got additional storage over here as well and then leading off the kitchen is a bonus room which i i'm so excited to see i love a utility means washing machine dryer are tucked away and when you have them on they're not making lots of noise in your open plan ruining your open plan experience you've got your consuming units on the wall security and your boiler which is a logic heat h18 in this case and then a, wa a wall <laughs> a door letting you access the back garden dry your clothes which is very very energy efficient so that is the utility room now let's keep moving so down the side of the house you've obviously got access to your garage and then through here just going to show you what your garden could look like let me just close the door really quickly so standard timber fence you've got the option for a water outlet point there as well and obviously you'll have option for lighting and um outlets electrical outlets you can see the outside of this kind of glass box extension slash add-on you'd have a paved area and the paved area might be a couple uh, of slabs usually the show home they would have upgraded the garden so all the planting you see all the kids um gym in the area um that's all going to be uh upgrades to kind of fluff it up and give you an idea of what you can get but again you have paved paving areas to where the doors open out and then you normally have lawn at the back so again we've got the double doors and then from the back you can see that you've got black rainwater pipes and then that gorgeous brickwork there and the cobbling details either side just little quirks like that you know rather than having like a flat monotone monochromatic color so yeah that's your garden tour as you can see Okay, so the first one we're actually going to look at is the one you are in, physically in, and that is the first double bedroom. So nice size. You do enter on kind of frontal, kind of facing the bed, um, and you've got a large double bed here, bedside table either side. I love the staging, but again, let's not look at the staging, guys. We've got radiator, window facing the back garden and yeah it's a good size and <laughs> just in case you're wondering most important thing is where am i going to store my clothes there's a space there the wall is recess allowing you to come in and do fitted wardrobes if you want to and that's all part of bedroom one so let's look at the next room which is the bathroom family bathroom wow 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 this is just all glitz and glam isn't it beautiful marble effect tiling all the way throughout and again that is an extra most likely you'll only have the wet areas tiled and then you'd have to upgrade to full height tiling but let's talk about what we've got here i love this extra little shelf there if you're somebody that likes to kind of have decor in the bathroom that's a fantastic opportunity nice size bathtub with a handheld device there so this is a four-piece suite so let's go through all the white goods bathtub there we've got our little sink there little it's actually quite big and it's also by Villaroy and Bach I just got that that's a really reputable brand you always see those in hotels it's a really fancy sanitary wear brand so I'm really pleased to see that in here you've got a toilet there window facing the back garden 
completely obscure, so it's private. Um, all of the towels have these beautiful edging strips as well, which is very modern. And then you've got your radiator. Instead of a tower rail, it's a question worth asking if you can upgrade that to a tower rail. And then you've got your shower here with a hinge door. As you can see, it kind of closes up like that. It's got a handheld device and it's by Hands Grower. And that is your four piece, one, two, three, four piece bathroom. Now let's keep going through the house. And by doing that, we're now onto bedroom number two, another fabulous double bedroom. I love the way they've done the headboard out of paint. And then they've got a physical headboard in front of it. Very good way of framing the room. You've got a recessed piece of wall in there as well, which they've put the wardrobes in there. I love that. And then you've got your window facing the back garden again and a radiator overlooking Oh, the window is overlooking, not the radiator. <laughs> the window is overlooking your garage, your garden, and the roof of the kind of the box projection downstairs. So let's keep going back in the hallway now. Love it. Mystery door is going to be your storeroom. I'll just give you a sneak peek there. So again, you expect that to be your hot water cylinder in there. And then let's go to the next room. This, another room where you come head on into the room is another double bed, double bed room. Love the size. This is an oversized bed frame. It's quite big as you can see, and it's quite long. I love that though. I hate when I see um, houses being staged with miniature size furniture, space for bedside tables. You've got the recessed space again with the wardrobes on that side, which is really good. Again, the fitted wardrobes are going to be an extra, but you've got space for wardrobe. And then you've got windows facing the front of the property. So let's go into the Stillmore house to see you guys. And did you notice anything interesting about this space by any chance? Is this quite a typical detail? No, it is not. I mean, normally you'd have a floor, wouldn't you? But instead we have this absolutely gorgeous double height space and it's a little treat for whoever is obviously living here because you don't immediately notice it when you come into the house. It's a nice little treat. You've got a window here in the hallway which is amazing because if everyone's at home being moody, if all the doors are closed, we still get that natural light coming into the hallway. But enough talking. Let's go into the primary bedroom. Primary bedroom has so many interesting quirks to it. Not only is it a great size, how is it a great size? Well, this looks at the very least, it's going to be a king size bed. It's a very large bed. And then you've got large bedside tables either side, good ceiling height. And then you've got this really amazing moment, which I know if it was me, I would definitely put like a cushion here and make this like a window seat, a proper window seat, which I would climb in read books and just relax and have that zen moment. You've got the splayed windows, splayed bay windows, and then you've got a space there for your TV or a dresser. And then you've got a thermostat in this room. So maybe it's individually controlled. I always love to see that. Let me just close this door a little bit. And we've got space on the other side of the bed for another large dresser and another radi uh, well and a radiator and then a walk-in wardrobe area, which I love, absolutely love the wardrobes. They are so beautiful and inside it's color matched to the outside as well. But again, um, this whole unit, this space is for whatever you want to kind of make it. And then you've got your ensuite as well as everything else I've just mentioned. So the ensuite, as you can expect, let me see what's behind this wall. Nope, not a towel rail. So what we've got here is a window facing the side. You've got your toilet, your sink, shaver socket, radiator, not towel rail. And then you've got this fully tiled shower, large, 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 large shower. I've got socks on so I can walk in and just show you in terms of proportion, it's a very good proportion. I don't know why I just walked into the shower <laughs> and then tiling on the bottom. And that brings us to the end of this tour. I have loved touring this house. Absolutely beautiful. Yes, the staging is amazing, but so is the architecture. Leave us a comment below if you saw anything that we missed, but subscribe before you leave so that you get notified when our next video comes up. And yeah, 
we'll see you in the next video which should pop up on the screen somewhere up or there bye